Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Elias and in today's video I'll be talking about all the books I want to read for the month of May. Before we get further into the video, I just want to divert your attention to the Asian readathon that will be happening this month. This readathon is hosted by the one and only Cindy, my girlfriend, um, over at Read with Cindy. Actually, it's with Cindy now since she no longer reads. Honestly, she should change her channel name to Elias with Cindy. So. so I have quite a number of books I want to go over and I have a couple of questions for you guys as well pertaining to some of those books. But before we get started, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. I worked with Ana Luisa before in the past, I had a really good time working with them. They sent me over three pieces that I chose that I love and still wear to this day. So I am working with Ana Luisa today for their Mother's Day campaign. If you're looking for a small yet beautiful gift for a loved one, a family friend, a mother, or even perhaps for yourself, Ana Luisa is having a sale site-wide where everything is 15 percent off. So if you don't know who Ana Luisa is, they're a sustainable jewelry company that emphasize on three main things. They have long-lasting pieces crafted with care, affordable prices, which means no luxury markups starting at $39, and premium details, meaning that they make their jewelry from high-quality materials. One of the cool things about Ana Luisa is that they offset 100% of their raw materials, meaning what they take, they give back to the environment. So if you're looking for affordable, high-quality premium jewelry, I would definitely check out Ana Luisa. Check out the link down in the description box below and take advantage of their sale. So as you can see, I'm actually wearing some of the pieces that I picked out. The three jewelry pieces that I picked out were two earrings and a necklace, which I got for the first time. So the first set of earrings that I got were the scarlet earrings. So this is my favorite out of the bunch, mainly because they have the double stacked look without you actually having to double stack on earrings. So the second set that I got were the Labosa earrings. So these set of earrings have a really cool design to them. They're twisted stud earrings, a vibe, which I'm here for. Last and not least, for the necklace, I picked out the Cardi set. Now, I picked this one because it's stackable, meaning I can wear one or the other or both, depending on whatever I'm feeling or choosing to wear. So those are all the jewelry pieces that I picked out. I will leave all the links to all the pieces down below so you guys can check it out. Once again, click on the link to check out their website. Everything is 15% off. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the books. All right, first off, got to introduce the Late Night Book Club's pick and that is The House in the Cerulean Sea. And I am incredibly excited for you all to experience this firsthand. I did a whole reading vlog on this and I actually cried. This was not a sad or tragic book by any means. It was just so happy, so full of warmth and joy and just cuddly warm feelings that the emotions in me just fully broke out. So I cannot wait, looking heavily forward to the day where we'll be discussing this on Noelle's channel, I believe, because we will be discussing Shadow of the Wind on my channel in the next, I believe, week or so. It'll actually be after this video comes out, so hope to see you there. As I said before, I wasn't originally going to participate in the Asian readathon just because I'm the absolute worst when it comes to readathons in general, overall. So here are the challenges, there are five. The first is to read any book written by an Asian author, which is the basic bare minimum. Two is read any book featuring an Asian protagonist. Three is read a book written by an Asian author in your favorite genre. Four is read any any nonfiction book written by an Asian author, and five is read any book written by an Asian author that's not US centric. There's also a leeway as well where you can combine any of the challenges together. So for this one, I actually mentioned this book in a previous video where I did a reading vlog for one of my most anticipated reads of all time, so you guys should definitely check that out, but it's You Reach Sam by Dustin Tao. Dustin Tao is Vietnamese and this is a YA contemporary romance, all about a young girl grieving the sudden loss of her boyfriend. So she's grieving, she's hella sad, and desperate to hear his voice again, she calls his voicemail. However, to her fucking surprise, he answers the phone. This isn't a twist where he faked his own death or anything. This has the this has themes of grief, letting go, and second chances. So I'm looking forward to finishing this book because it's as sad as it gets. So the next book I want to read, and a question for you guys. So the next book I want to read is Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. So question for you guys. So I have not read any of his books before, and I've heard various things about which book to start from. So all you Murakami fans, which book should I start with first? Should I read Kafka on the Shore first? I heard Norwegian Wood is also very popular, and I've heard IQ84 is another popular book that a lot of people love. I only currently own this book from him so far. Please let me know down in the comments below which is a good starting book uh, for this author. So this book already completes challenges one and two. This one actually completes challenges three and five. So either way, whatever book you guys do decide to recommend, I am still looking forward to reading this because it sounds super weird and really whimsical and I heard that there are really great messages and themes within his books. So this book is about a young boy who runs away from home, where cats can converse with people, where fish tumble from the sky, all of which is combined to create an elegant and dreamlike masterpiece. So 
Either way, really excited for this one. So the only challenge that I don't have a book for is number four. Read a nonfiction book written by an Asian author. At the top of my head, I can only name like one book that I own that's nonfiction. So we'll see. I have to look into that. But another book I want to check out and read from is The Vegetarian by Han King. So I've heard a lot about this book from my friends and a lot of them have given really mixed reviews and ratings. So I'm curious to see where I fall along those lines in that spectrum. This is about a young woman who gives up and renounces um, eating meat altogether. And even after reading the blurb, I'm still a little confused as to what this whole book is essentially all about. From what I'm gathering, it's about a young woman striving to claim her own identity. Don't know too much about it other than that it's really short and really weird. So looking forward to it. So last and not least, I wanted to read a couple of thrillers and I decided in a fun way, why not let you guys decide and pick out which thriller book I'll be able to read this month. The three thrillers are The Troop by Nick Cutter, The Night Before by Wendy Walker, and Little Darlings by Melanie Golding. All right, so there are three thrillers and I'll briefly explain the synopsis of each one. So this one follows a young mother of twins. So after giving birth to the twins one day in the hospital, the mother claims to have seen something or someone trying to place her own babies with something else. And of course, no one really believes her. So several years later, one day she takes the kids to the park and they go missing and everybody freaks the fuck out and tries to look for them. However, when they are found unharmed, the mother believes and comes to the conclusion that these aren't her kids. So this is a really interesting take on the Changeling myth, and I haven't really read a thriller where it sort of mixes a fairy tale element to it, so that in of itself is really intriguing to me. So. Pick number one. So number two is The Night Before by Wendy Walker. So this is essentially about two sisters. One of the sisters is married, settled down, she has a husband and a kid, and the other is single as fuck. So single sister crushes married sister's life. Married sister isn't really having it until the single sister, when she goes out to meet a man she met on the internet who claims that she really, really loves, of course, we all know how this goes. She goes missing and she doesn't come home the next day. So Mary's sister is like kind of freaking out here. She isn't too scared for her sister, but rather she's actually worried for the guy that her sister is seeing and what may have happened to that man. So it sounds like we have another sister duo relationship here and probably if I'm guessing correctly, an unreliable narrator at that. So the cover itself is really intriguing and really eerie and I'm here for it. All right, the last pick is The Troop by Nick Cutter. Fun fact about this one, I actually started this book a while ago, but I never finished. I believe I was only 16 pages in, chapter four. So this simply put is about a creature, a ravenous creature at that, that stumbles upon a Boy Scouts camp. I heard that this book is super icky, super gory, especially when it comes to like body parts and body gore in general. This book also falls more into the line of horror than thriller, but just leaving this up here for an option as well. So please let me know down in the comments below which book sounds most interesting to you. If I don't get any comments, it's okay. I will make a decision and pick one, I guess. All right guys, that is essentially it for this video. Please let me know down in the comments below three things actually. Which more comic book should I start? Which thriller pick you think sounds most interesting? And what books you'll be reading for the Asian Readathon if you're participating or for the month of May? Again, thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link down below to get 15% off of all products. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all soon with a new video. So, pretty excited. So, I'm pretty, so I'm, so, so I'm looking forward, so I'm looking forward to finishing this book. So I'm looking, so I'm looking forward to finishing this book because it's, so I'm looking forward to finishing this book because it's as sad. So I'm looking forward to finishing this book because it's as, because it's as sad, because it's as sad as it gets. Hi everyone, my name is Elliot and today's video, we're going to show you Anna Luisa jewelry. You're welcome, Bill. Thank you. I'm going to keep this in. I'm keeping this in. <laughs>